Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today we're going to look at this light switch. Rather, we're going to install this light switch. Now, this is a motion sensing light switch to where you can operate it in two different ways. You can have the light turn on when you enter the room, or you can have it shut off after you leave the room. And you can kind of change the settings as to how long you want the lights to be on. It could be from anywhere from 15 seconds to, well, 30 minutes. So there's quite a bit of options inside here on how to adjust everything. And it's gonna be a nice addition to this studio on that light switch over there, because I'm constantly leaving stuff out to where I trip over it all the time. So having the lights turn on when I walk in here, it's gonna be a nice benefit. Now I know what you're saying, the door is right next to the light, but that's if I come in through that entrance. If I come in through the other entrance, well, it's all the way across the room and that's where the hazards are. So let's dig into this thing. Now there are some recommended tools to get this job done, but not necessarily necessary. So we'll take a look at the tools required to get this job done in a second. But for now, let's take a look at the instructions. Now having a tool like this is recommended, but not necessary. You're gonna use something like this to see if there's power at your switch, your outlet, or any exposed wires. And all you do is get it close. If it lights up and it beeps like that, it means this thing is hot. So I'm gonna go shut the breaker off right now and then we'll double check it with this. And there is a way to get around this if you have, well, a multimeter. Kind of a real quick tip, if you're working by yourself or even if you're working with someone else and you have the option to, well, FaceTime or Skype or something like that, instead of yelling up and down the stairs and such or running up and down the stairs to see if you hit the right breaker, use your phone and, well, you can visually see right then and there if what you intended to shut off actually shut off. And just like that, the power's off and we're safe to work. So let's go ahead and take this off. And if you wanted to use your multimeter, find out if there's power here, simply turn it to AC volts and well, see if you get any power. It reads zero, there's no power. Now it's definitely a good idea to double check the instructions on how this thing needs to be wired up and to positively identify which wires are which in some instances, uh, like this one, it's a little difficult to, well, determine which one's the hot and which one's neutral and all that. But in your home, hopefully you have updated wiring, unlike mine, where it's a lot easier to tell. So give me one minute while I scratch my head and figure this out. So all I'm really doing with this particular light, and read the instructions on your light, but we're just going to take the red and the black wire of the new light and, well, attach it to the black wire and the black wire of the old light. It's really just creating a break in there. So that, well, that's where the switch operates. And then the white one, the neutral one is gonna go to the white one and then ground to ground. Obviously I don't have a ground with this one, so I'm just gonna ground it to the metal box and hope and pray. With all that wired up, well, let's go ahead and put this back together. I know you couldn't really see in there, but I just connected the ground to the metal box. My wiring is very old. You should have properly grounded outlets and such in your house, hopefully. And then once you have all the wires tucked back in and well, everything's secure, go ahead, throw your face plate on and you're pretty much done. So let's go turn the breaker back on and see how this thing works. And just like that, we're done. It was a pretty easy installation. Now with this particular light, there's a little initial setup time to where once you turn the power back on, you have to let the light do its thing and calibrate or whatever it does for about a minute or so, maybe even a little bit longer. And it says in the instructions, within that time, the light may flicker on and off and such like that, but let it do, it, let it do its thing and you'll be in good shape in no time. Now you're gonna have to adjust your light settings just a little bit depending upon the model that you get for the sensitivity of the motion sensor, the sensitivity of the light sensor to where if you don't want this thing turning on during the day, you can adjust it so that it needs darkness to actually turn on, which might be a good, well, feature to have depending on where you're putting this light, especially if you don't want it on, left on during the day. And that's another thing too, you can set this up so that 
you have to manually turn the light on by pressing the button and then after the determined amount of time that you have set it'll shut the light off so your kids can't accidentally leave lights on it'll shut off and just the same just using it as the regular motion light to where when you walk in the room and the light turns on you set it to the time that you want for the length of the time that you want that light to turn on and once that time is reached the light will shut off so there's no leaving lights on which i I'm a big supporter of not leaving lights on in the house, even though you you know might use LED lights or the you know compact fluorescent lights and stuff. I still don't like to leave. I, I, I've always been brought up: you enter a room, you turn a light on, you leave the room, you shut the light off. There's no leaving the lights on. So I'm very happy with this product, and this is a pretty good size room to where well it's it's getting me. It, the, the sensor on there, the motion sensor, is reading me and. I can walk in and the light turns on and I'm not going to stumble and fall over everything. I'm not going to knock my light stands down for the video or anything like that. So all in all, pretty solid buy and pretty easy installation even with the old wiring in my house. So I think we're pretty much done for today and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and if you want to purchase this light or you were curious and wanted to find out more information, definitely check the link in the description for my Amazon link that will take you right to this product. It's no extra cost to you, you just log in just as you normally would, but I do get a little bit of a kickback if you do decide to buy something. I mean, we're talking pennies on the dollar, but the pennies add up, you know, just like the big penny jar you have, you know what I mean? Anyways, I thank you for it, and uh, if you didn't already, consider subscribing. I have over 300 different videos that, well, you can binge on over the weekend and such. I, this video is done. I'll see you on the next one.